Surveillance footage surfaced this week of a young woman tossing a trash bag into a dumpster outside a shopping mall in Hams, New Mexico. But according to local law enforcement, the bag didn't contain trash. Instead, the bag was the newborn son, which the woman, later identified as Alexis Sevilla, had given birth to just hours before. Miss Villa was 18, arrested and charged with attempted murder and felony child abuse in a case which has sent shockwaves across America. The case unfolded on the 7th of January when police received a panicked 911 call at about 7.45 p.m. on Friday from someone calling to say they just found a baby in a dumpster. Hello, yes, we just found a baby in the trash. He still got in Bella Coral Court, she said. The male caller says in the audio obtained by KQRE. I was looking for some stuff in it and it was very catch. A woman's voice is then heard joining the call saying the infant was very weak. He's still got his umbilical cord, he's freezing cold and he's very, like, very weak. Do you have him wrapped in a blanket and the heater on? I got him in my jacket. A faint whimpering noise from the baby is heard in the background of the phone call. Hobbs acting police chief August Fan said in a press conference on Monday afternoon that three people, Michael Green, Hector Gesso, and April Meadow, had been going through the dumpster at the Broadmoor Shopping Center at 1400 block of Anthorps looking for anything of value. Chief Fan said the trio heard what sounded like a baby crying and pulled out a trash bag, assuming they'd find a dog or a kitten inside, he said. Instead, they discovered a newborn baby wrapped in a bath towel, which was dirty and wet and had dried blood on it while the umbilical cord was still attached. Surveillance footage from a nearby store shows the three people standing by a truck and looking through the dumpster before one of them pulls out a black trash bag and opens it. One of the other people is seen quickly opening the bag as they realize its contents. The woman pulls out the baby and cradles him, getting inside the truck in an attempt to keep him warm. Meanwhile, one of the other people is seen on the phone. Multiple flashing emergency responder vehicles are seen arriving on the scene minutes later. Chief Fan said that the baby was treated at the scene and rushed to hospital for treatment, where he was in stable condition as of Monday. The police chief praised the quick response of the three rescuers, who were pivotal in saving the baby's life. Investigators tracked down the alleged culprit thanks to surveillance footage captured on the nearby store, rig outfitters, and home store owned by Joe Embryo. The video, which had gone viral, shows a white car pulling up next to the dumpster at around 2 p.m. on Friday afternoon. The woman, later identified as Miss Avia, is seen stepping out of the driver's seat, opening the back door and taking a black trash bag from the back seat. She then hurls the package into the dumpster before getting back into the vehicle and driving away from the scene. The footage reveals that the baby had been in the dumpster and plunging temperature of about 30 degrees Fahrenheit for about six hours. Investigators were able to get a partial license plate for the footage, which led them to Miss Via's home. There, her parents said it was their daughter who drove the vehicle. Chief Fund said the mother advised that Alexis agreed to meet with the detectives, where she met with investigators. Teenage mother says she panicked because she didn't know she'd been pregnant. During the interview, she said she wasn't aware that she was pregnant until January 6, 2022. Ms. Avia allegedly confessed to investigators that she'd given birth to the baby and tossed him in a dumpster hours later. The teenager told officers she panicked after giving birth on Friday, just one day after finding out she was pregnant. She said she sought medical attention on the 6th of January because she was suffering from abdominal pain and constipation. It was only then that she was told she was pregnant the teenager said she then began experiencing more stomach pains the following day and gave birth in the bathroom at her parents' home. She panicked, didn't know what to do or who to call, then cut the umbilical cord, wrapped the baby in a towel, and placed the baby inside the trash bag. Ms. Avia told investigators that she drove around for a while before deciding to put the baby in a dumpster. When asked what she thought would happen to her baby after she left him in the dumpster, the police chief said Alexis remained silent and couldn't answer. The investigators were told the identity of the baby's father, but the chief said he will not be named in the release as he's a juvenile. The young couple had split up back in August, according to the criminal complaint. Miss Avia's mother told investigators she had no knowledge of her daughter's pregnancy. However, some school friends cast doubt on Miss Avia's claims that she didn't know she was pregnant, 
telling DailyMail.com she was open about her pregnancy in the fall before she stopped coming to school in December. Miss Avia was arrested and charged with attempted murder and felony child abuse on the 8th of January. The 18-year-old was released on bond less than two hours later. After posting a $100 unsecured bond, she's scheduled to appear for a hearing in Lake County District Court on Wednesday. If convicted, she faces up to 15 years in prison. Miss Avia's baby son is now in stable condition and in the custody of New Mexico Children, Youth, and Families Department. It's unclear who will have custody of the baby in the long term. However, the baby's paternal grandfather said his family is now seeking custody of the little boy, whom they decided to name Saul. Oscar Astorga told Daily Mail that his 16-year-old son, Stephen, is the baby's father, and he thought his girlfriend had suffered a miscarriage after they split up in August. Of course, we're trying to get custody. Of course, he's my grandson, said Mr. Astorgo. That's why we can't comment on anything, because we're trying to get my grandson. Chief Fawns urged parents in need to reach out for help. If you're struggling with a new infant, the best response is to find somebody who can help you with that, he said. Contact us and let us help you through the situation. All 50 states have safe haven laws, enabling mothers in crisis to safely leave their newborn babies to designated people, such as hospital staff, without the risk of criminalization. In New Mexico, the law allows a parent to hand over their child safely within 90 days after their birth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who you think might find it interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.